Hello everybody, how are you doing today? So in this video, obviously a raid video, we will be talking Doom Tower, but the battle with the Scarab King continues because I need to upgrade Vergus, so the new video is coming, it's just a work in progress. But what I thought we could do to help people out Let's talk about some secret rooms. So, secret, they all have different requirements and conditions to be met. So, we'll start with the secret room one, which is you need to use rare champions only. Which, probably for the first room, is pretty much spot on, because in the start of your game, you're going to be using rare champions. If you get a blue shard, you get a rare champion. No, so there is enough to go around. All your starter champions are Magic, Elan, Athol, Gallic and Kyle. Apothecary, who is a good rare if you get him. There's just countless Acolyte. There's Aver Alshmage, who is really good. Bellwar, Bloodhorn, Bulwark, Chaplain, Dooscreech, Draconis. So, for Secret Room 1, the champions that you can use, they're quite limitless, they go every faction. You will definitely find champions in your inventory to help you with this one. Secret Room 2. Secret Room 2 we will do while I watch and see if I can get the win, why not? You have to try. I see Banner Lords, I don't have any that I can really work on at the moment, my luck is not great with picks like that, so we're going to see how a Stagnite in Lifesteal, built for Clan Boss, tanky, pretty fast, good accuracy, probably 30-40,000 HP, see how he fares, if this begins to take quite a lot of time we're going to exit. And for just now, I'll admit defeat because I don't have anything better. But Banner Lords have some good champions as well. We've got we'll just you know, Preserver, K Star, Crossbowman, Chevalier, Valerie, who is a farmable champion. Epic, so we've got Azure, Oathbound, Seneschal, Stagnite, and Mast Fearmonger for Epic, so no. He's not as good as what I thought he was, but hey, you don't know until you try. You do not know until you try. And as far as Banner Lords go for our legendaries, we have Septimus, the mighty Septimus, Lugan, Steadfast, Jamfort, Baron, and Draglin. Draglin's probably one of the better ones. So, Secret Room 3. What conditions are required for Secret Room 3? It's attack based champions. Attack based champions. It's quite interesting because attack based champions normally just fall over. They normally require somebody to keep them alive, like a cold heart, great example. But with the champions I had, I just threw in Nesso for the stuns, Zargala for the three hitter decreased defense. That kind of set me up for the waves. The other three, they're in close proximity. There is obviously countless champions, not countless champions, but there's a range. Now if we look at some rare champions that you could use in this room, Cold Heart, Dolgal, Drowned Bloodwraith, Eviscerator, Fencer, Basher, Frozen Banshee, not Basher, Frozen Banshee, and Gladiator, Epics, you have Alika, Aina, Bloodfeather, Eothar, Exemplar, Hexia, Jurang, Jinkle Hunter, and this is a pretty good one for legendary champions if you happen to pull them. We have Rotos, Tronda, Kutraxa. She is one of the hardest hitting champions in the game, Kutraxa. I would love to have one. Belinor, Candifron, Candifaun, Baron, Fushan, Gergo, the Ogre, Ethos, and Little Miss Annie. So, as far as attack champions go, you have a lot, and it depends on your account. I'm just going to rattle a few champions off in each uh, rarity for you so magic champions only I must have removed Elegaius that's pretty much what I would do here I could put in 
I wouldn't really use Royal Guard. I think it would be. I don't have an AOE decrease defense, I believe, on magic, but it is very much doable because all your starter champions are magic champions. Gallic, you've got Elan. As I said before, you've got all your starter champions that are all the perfect affinity for you to use, and you're going to have them leveled up, be it 50 or 60 or so. So, just to rattle off a couple of champions that you could potentially take into here. Now, I've got Apothecary as a rare, I've also got Coffin Smasher, I've got Diabolist, I've got Frozen Banshee, there's Kale, Thurgist, Rocktooth, there's a few. A lure who is an epic. She will keep turn meter down one million percent. Captain Tamilia, Dark Ethel, just food. Dark Alan, pretty good. Excruciator, Gorgorab is also really good. Gorgorab will revive the whole team. Usually a turn meter increase, increase attack. This old Jarl, just block boss. Or about D boss. Uh, and a legendary for room four. If you're lucky enough, you could have one of all talent. You could take in Biggin, Draco, Foley, Ray, Rothos, Silver the Drakes, Saito. So there is a few magic champions. It's just so much. So we move on to Room 5. Secret Room 5 is epic champions only, which for me was quite cool. I quite like this one. Because some of the best champions in the games are epic. So there's absolutely no reason why you wouldn't have a couple of epics that you can throw in, especially Stagnite, who you get given to for free. Now you've got to remember that, he's a free cha that's a free champion. Just log in. Free champion, and he's fantastic, he hits hard. If he's built right, he's great support. Great to have on your team. Uh, so, with it being epic, you could also use Battle Sage, you could use Cardinal, you could use Catacomb Counselor to take in like a blender approach. Dark Alan is epic as well. A login real board. Deathless is Basher, Feldhammer, Baroth, who has like a truck. And also a lure. You could have Fane, Gala, Ghost of Magra, etc. if you wanted. They use them champions. A few of them you get from login rewards, a few have been from fusions. So there will definitely be one or two lying around for you to use. And this is spirit only, which it looks like I have not completed yet. But if I had to choose I would go Lysandra, I'd put in Nethro, I'd put in Stagnite, and the last two, we would just do Vergus and damage but overall spirit champions in the game it's it kind of gets a bad rap because it's the affinity that or some people people just rag on it but it's just an affinity and there's so many good spirit champions in the game you can think of bully who is level one armiger outlander elf card damphir they're all spirit champions people who maxed them out you see Armager on countless videos. Drop in turn meter and spider for Armagers, it's just incredible. You also got people like Bloodbraid, Flesh Eater, Fury Stoker, Crimson Slayer, Cataphract. Some of these aren't good, but they're still spirit champions. Got Fenax, who if you watch I've seen I think it was Murder Rink who did a great video with Fenax, like Block Revive King or something. And he went out and he meant damage. He did damage and he meant business. Bergoth was a fusion. Hopefully you'll have him. You get High Katoon from the Logan Rewards. Poisoners, you could have Nethro or a Cult Brawler. So, along with Drakul, who was a fusion. Harvest Jack was a fusion. Michald, he kind of really sucked for a while, but then he got worked on. And now he's just so good, you're going to see him in a lot of teams and a lot of work. 
Cassandra, Lilith, and Ghostborn, just to name a few more, are all champions. Now, you have to remember, all our cards are different. If I've pulled from a charge, you may not necessarily pull from your charge. Some people will be the one in 1000 that says, Yeah, I got Siffy with one shard. Well, the other person gets a Harrier, you know, so there is give and take. So when it comes to skill mockers, I've probably got some in the vault, but I don't think so. I have Fane, I have Brachis, I have Flash Trader. I could go with Narrow Horn as well if I chose to, if I got him to at least 50. This one I may have to concede along with Banner Lords that I'm just unequipped to deal with it. But you see Sater all the time with Windhawker. Well, they're green champions. I say green is because they're uncommon. Bloodhorn, Narrowhorn. Trying to wear Greybeard. Greybeard is a great champion. Narrowhorn is a great champion. It's like provoked on killables. They're farmable as well. So they can definitely. You can do a bit of farming if you want to come back and do this room. Basharfain, Steel Skull, and Rain Beast also come from the Skillmockers faction. Rain Beast not as good as they used to be, but he's still really good. Steel Skull is just commonly known as being really good for Clan Boss because of his AI. He's tanky. You he will support your team and he'll do work. Uh, of this fusion in Legendaries, we can you can have Norov. You can have Longbeard, you have Corona, Hakon, Smashlord, and Brachis, as you see in the corner there, which I use. Although I don't think I have the team to take out their health. I may, I will give it a go, and we'll kind of see how it works out. I may speed up Stagnite and try Room 2 again. You never know. It may have to be done. But the last room for this video we're going to jump onto is just HP Champions. So the HP room is probably one that I think I'm going to like the most. Because I like champions that scale off of HP because you can tank them and then get more damage. But also more sustainability, more life. Uh, as you can see here, I don't have much. I may have some in the vault. I'm not going to check the vault. Because I think all those champions might not be geared up. But Miscreate Monster, fantastic champion. He'll support you. He'll do damage. He's got ally protection. Fear goes up. He's got decreased defense. He can stun. He's just probably one of the best epic champions that should be listened to. Oh, I have a cult brawler. One of the best poisoners for me personally in the game. He kicks frozen banshees ass. He just doesn't clan boss. I'm sorry. I've tried them both, and a cult brawler just doesn't seem to want to lose. Husk is underrated, but he is very, very good, and he will do damage if you build him HP and crit damage. And Berglot is a fusion, so we all have the chance to get him. So along with Maneater, Jotun, Husk, Allure, Baroth the Blood Soaked as an epic HP champion. We also have really good legendary champions like Tower, Block Damage, Tyrant, who if you see in Arena, you'll know who he is. He's this chap here at 175 with the blue heart, really annoying. Harvest Jack will put fears up. Angar will provoke the crap out of you and pretty much take your team out in the first wave. We've got our Saga, who has the big shield, the HP champion. She will put out a shield, probably like 40,000 HP. So, depending on who you've pulled, depending on your luck, that's the first eight rooms we're going to talk about on normal. Just bring off a few champions and hopefully some have been named that you've got in your vote you haven't used. I mean I'm doing Skyrim but I need to I need to finish off equipping Vergus with gear and we're going to throw him in as a 50. I may leave it if I'm being really cocky and see if a level 50 can finish it on lifesteal but we'll see. But he'll be a great asset to that level so that's where I'm at, so the content is still coming. I'm just held up due to my equipment. But pretty much covers the first eight rooms. There's obviously more, but 
as time progresses on, we can definitely cover them, get you the champions, tell you from each rarity and faction, etc. who you can use. But until that time guys, see you next one.